Hi, it's Richard, RJ Coins. Some of you may remember me. I've done some YouTube videos a long, long time ago in the previous universe. Um, decided to uh, try another little series. Might not be a regular one. Might be as and when, because once you hear what it's going to be, you'll realise it's not something that might happen every week. So, what prompted me to do this? Well, here's a little package from Bungle, which I've had now for, for around about a month. He was trying to uh, put together some funds to finance some of his little silver proof sets that you have uh, probably seen his videos on recently and wanted to get rid of a few of his pond coins. Now I have kept various coins in an awful state just aside, and I always thought about putting together a set of the worst coins you could possibly find. So, inspired by my purchase from Bungle, I have put together suitably grubby old sheets with handwritten rough cut cards for both the 50p's and the two pound coins. And we shall look to see how close we can get to completing a full set. So these are the ones I got from Bungle. Most of them are the, uh, the dodgy coins. Let's get rid of the sheets so we can see them better. So you can see there a little selection of Olympics and a lovely Newton. A lovely horrible Newton. Some of these are going to be double ups of what I have, and it will be quite interesting to find out exactly which coins seem to have that sort of grubby reputation. Which ones get dirty quickly. So there we go, remember, you might remember some of these from Bungle's Hunts. They uh, look like they've been inside a pond. And they're coins you just can't chuck away. find those Olympics you're never going to chuck them away so that's the start of what I bought from Bungle and then we'll look at what I kept and then since then I've gone through and sort of sorted out a few from my spares as well that are suitable to be included potentially and then from hunts over the last few weeks I've been keeping. All the really bad ones. So finding a St Paul's isn't bad enough in your two pound hunt. Finding ones like that. Up until now of course has been a dis disappointment. Centenary bashed about like that. Again, this has appeared in certainly Facebook posts I've done, if not a video, where I found this and tried to clean it up a bit. And it's, this is after it's been cleaned up. A King James Bible. Marvellous find. And then you get one like that. So you just can't chuck it back. Now, of course, with this series, look at that Mary Rose. We'll actually be looking for downgrades. So instead of looking for that mythical upgrade, see that Magna Carta is only just on the poor side. So we'll be definitely needing a, a much better, or in this case, a much worse Magna Carta. sunk. Same with this train. It's a little bit grubby around the edges, a bit bashed about. Not really of an acceptable quality to keep. 
and then these Technologies ones as well that are 19.99, which wasn't of course in sets. Probably tried to keep a little run as well of Technologies. This has certainly appeared on my feed before. As you can see here, they're Northern Ireland. Brilliant find. Looks good, doesn't look too bad at all. Imagine turning that over and finding that. Absolute disaster. So we've already got the top find of the two pound coins. Completely ruins that one. So that's what I had. And then there's a few little piles of bits I've kept over the last few weeks. Again, I'm sure we can find one worse than this. Come on, label. But these are generally in such good condition to get one even scratched up like this. Does the job for this series. There we go, part of the date run started on the uh, definitives. A lovely, oh, we've got another Magna Carta. Is that worse than the other one? Why oh, have I kept that one? Another borderline one for the Magna Carta. Just a bit of general grabbiness, really. I think the other one's worse, so we'll put that to the side. And these, I think, are the ones that um, I've, again, I've found over the last few weeks. And then the last bag of the ones I've already had put aside. There we go, look at that. a hard life considering it's relatively new wonderful Olympic awful bit of toning on it or fire damage Britannia terrible shield 2019 they should all all be burnt really 2019 it will do for this one grubby sailing comedies again beat up scratched possibly one we could find an upgrade on another Olympic centenary First one's the winner on that. Another Britannia, completely mangled. Another 19 shield. Weight lifting, not awful, but again, big marks around the edges. Underground Roundel in a bit of a state. Perfect for this series. And we've got another Navy Centenary again. That doesn't make the cut. That's going to go into the reserve pot. Still got to be kept. Can't throw it back. And then what else have we got? These are some of the other ones that I already had and have found again. So, wonderful dictionaries. Perfect. Athletics, 
So that's a duplicate. I think the one I've got from Bungle is going to win in that case. Modern pentathlon. Aquatics. Wonderful wrestling. Just about make out his wrestling. Another sailing. I think that could take the uh, the top spot over the other one we just seen. Yeah, that goes into the reserve pot. Scouts. Completely tarnished. Perfect. Oh, another athletics. So I already have some duplicates. Let's see which one we're going to pick. I'll have to go for that one. The obverse there means that one wins. Beat up badminton. Handball. Again, this one I've had an attempt of cleaning up in the past. Often when you try to clean them, they get, you get the uh, coppery type colour come through. Cycling. Looks like it's been run over. And an equestrian. Again, that's a duplicate. I have to check over that one. Volleyball. So we're doing well with the Olympics. Table tennis with some horrible marks as well. Basketball there. Being run over. And what else we got here? A WWF. Again, pretty beat up, run over. So I shall put them into these sheets. Very good start already from what I've gathered and what I've bought from Bungle. And we'll see how quickly we can put together a full set or close to a full set. Also got to think of a suitable title for the series. So that could change. I'll put something up with the first post, but if you've got any suggestions, do leave a comment. If you like the idea of this, give us a big thumbs up and uh, I'll catch up with you all very soon. Thanks very much.